Hey guys, Phil Denton here. What is happening? It is May 3rd, so we're like five or six weeks into quarantine. So uh, getting a little stir crazy. You got my quarantine mountain man beard going on here. Can't wait to get that sucker trimmed up when things open again in a couple weeks. Uh, so yeah, we all been going a little stir crazy. Um, leaving the house for errands about once a week for grocery store, hardware store, that kind of thing with some home improvement projects. But Food stores are all open, and guess what? I found a new one right near my house. It is in Mainville, Ohio, Loveland, Ohio, depending on how you look at it, uh, and it's called um, Cafe Diana, I think. Interestingly enough, it is a Russian cafe, a Russian food store. It looks kind of like a tiny grocery store, tiny grocery store. They have um, dairy, meat, lots of fish, believe it or not. I mean, lots and lots of fish. Um, lots of packaged goods, lots of, uh, like shelf stable dry goods kind of thing. So I spent a few minutes exploring over there. I really, uh, like exploring and learning new cultures. You know, I spoke nearly fluent Spanish when I got out of college and I take little Chinese lessons on my phone when I can. And, um, I don't know, I spoke Arabic or took a semester of Arabic in college. I don't know. Just always fascinating to learn about other people and their culture. So I talked to the lady who appeared to be running the place and I said, uh, Hey, ma'am, can you recommend something for me to take home to my family, like a, a candy? Um, maybe what's your what's your favorite? What's your favorite candy? Now, we happen to be sitting next to a shelf that had this on it. And I know video quality on my computer is pretty poor, but you can see these little squirrels in there, right? Um, the package says Candy Balochka per pound, Babaevskaya. I don't know either. Uh, but it's eight fifty a pound, and... Um, you know, so this set, this size box here ended up being about ten bucks. Um, if you look inside, um, oh, so, so first I asked her, says, "Hey, um, there's no English anywhere on here. What is that?" She said, "Squirrel candy." I said, "Whoa, um, do you mean there's squirrel in there?" She said, "Oh no, no, no. It's got it's nuts. It's sweet." I said, "Okay, fine. So we're gonna try live." Squirrel candy. See, look, it's got a little squirrel in there. Cute, right? It's wrapped up nice. The paper is real nice, like a, it's heavy, like a wrapping paper. Um, and on the back, it's got a little picture of a little factory, Baba Yaskaya, I guess. Hope you can see it. I'll take a picture and add it later. Um, it says 1804 under this little factory, and it says something in Russian, and then some more stuff in Russian. And I'm guessing contents in Russian. Um, the only thing I understand on here is that there's a web a web address, www.shop.alenka.ru. Honestly, I'm guessing this bulk food came through in a package that has English writing on it because, you know, if I had a food allergy, how the heck would I figure out what was in here, you know? So I'm wondering how this works with customs, but anyway, so um, unwrap it. It's got two wrappings. The first one is the squirrel, okay? Interesting, right? Squirrel. Uh, and I apologize that things are backwards on the webcam. So the first wrapping is the squirrel. Um, and then next, inside, it has a little foil wrapper. Um, and other than that, it just looks like a little Snickers bar, right? Smooth on the front and has like a little crisscross design on the back, um, which is kind of like what you expect from a candy. So never had this before. <laughs> I didn't mean to have to get 10 pounds. I wish I could have just taken a couple out of the box and had her weigh that up and sell it per pound, right? And paid a buck or two, but here we are. So uh, this is the Bobby Eskaya, and I'll get the name right and I'll post it um, below, but here we go. So here it is. Hmm. It fell right apart. I thought it would be kind of like a creamy, like a, you know, have like caramel or something inside like a Snickers, but if you look inside, there's not really obvious nuts in there. Now, I apologize, the video quality is not great. This is my laptop uh, screen. If I do this again, I'll use my phone. But mm, it's very smooth. It's kind of like a, it's, uh, it tastes more like, um, oh, what's the word? Like Nutella, really. Um, but kind of like in a bar form. And there are a couple little nuts in there. Um, there's one at the top. There's a couple at the top corner. I don't know if you can see those little kind of brighter little pieces of nut, but I'm pretty sure, um, uh, what is it, macadamia nut, I think, is the nut in Nutella, right? So it basically tastes like a little uh, Nutella candy bar. Um, very smooth, though. It's almost like they took um, Nutella 
and this wrapped in milk chocolate made a candy bar. So I don't know about you guys, but I love Nutella. So I like this thing. So um, if I was to rate this on taste, I love Nutella. It is a little sweet, but then again, so is Nutella. Um, so taste wise, just like Nutella, I would say probably like an eight. That's a personal preference. It's a little sweet for me. I don't eat a lot of sugary, sugary stuff. Um, texture and mouthfeel, I got to give it a, um, I don't know, like a six or a seven, maybe. I was kind of hoping there'd be actual nuts inside because she said it was nuts. She didn't say macadamia nuts. She didn't say like a, a nut paste. I was expecting nuts, nuts in it. Um, so I would say, um, taste an eight, um, and then a texture, maybe like a six. I really would rather, rather have some macadamia nut in there. So overall, I'll give it a seven. It was pretty good. Um, and would I eat this again? Yeah, I would. Um, I'm going to share this with my family tomorrow. I wanted to uh, record initial openings first. I've never had this before. Um, but yeah, so that's my, that's my description of the, the somewhat unknown squirrel candy here one more time called candy Balochka Babaevskaya. Um, and once I get this uploaded, I'll try to write the name in English and the Russian alphabet since the Russian alphabet's, you know, a little different. Um, but I'll tell you what, if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments or the likes below. Um, there is a ton of food in this place. I mean, there's multiple aisles. It's a smallish kind of store, um, but I was actually really excited. I saw, I saw a box of candy, and the candy was shaped like little mushrooms. <laughs> it had little black stalks and white caps. It looked like a like an Oreo or something almost, like a frosting cap and then like an Oreo kind of stalk. I don't know, but um, there's lots of stuff in there. They had a soda, and the, one of the first ingredients was rye breadcrumbs. Um and again, I like learning and trying new things. I've never, ever seen Russian food in this quantity before. So uh, I'm happy to keep on trying it out and let you guys know what it is and how it is and what to think. Um, so in case you find yourselves in a Russian store, you'll know what to go for and what to avoid. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had fun putting it together. Uh, let's see what other adventures we can find in the Russian grocery store, shall we? If you had a good time watching the video, please do me a big favor, click the like button below, smack that subscribe button, turn it gray, and click the little bell right next to it. Um, in that case, you'll get notified the next time I post a video. Um, if I get a few likes on this video, I will be happy to go back to the store, buy something completely different, and try it out and record the review for all of you. So. Um, if you did appreciate the video, please click the like button. That's how I'll know to keep doing this. Um, but until next time, guys, stay healthy, stay safe. We'll be out of this quarantine nonsense before we know it. We'll put it in the rearview mirror soon, I hope. But until then, uh, stay safe, stay healthy. God bless, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.